Kathmandu is the capital city of Nepal, often overlooked by tourists as just a starting point to one of the many climbing and mountaineering expeditions or just a place where you can stock up on your trekking gear. But this city has so many amazing things that you can experience. So in this video, we're going to break down some of the top things to do when you're here in this amazing city. They're in no particular order, so make sure you stick around to the end. Let's get started. Almost everyone arriving into Nepal is going to be flying into Kathmandu International Airport and that's why we recommend spending your first two to three nights in this amazing city. We'd recommend staying in the Tamil area. It's centrally located with all the shops, restaurants and things to do all within walking distance of each other. If you want a breakdown of all the best places to stay in Nepal, we've put together an exclusive e-guide specially for you. There's a link in the description below and in there there's some extra tips and tricks on how to get your SIM card sorted when you arrive and also getting around in a taxi safely. Right, so we're all checked in, bags put down and ready to explore. First on the list we have is Tamil Market. This is a bustling market full of narrow streets and shops selling everything from hemp bags right through to all your trekking needs. Don't forget to buy a taka topi here. This is the traditional Nepalese hat that will make you look like a stylish adventurer. However, be warned, don't stock up on your trekking gear in this market as you might end up paying over the odds. There are better deals to be had outside the main market areas where the locals shop. Next up we have is the legendary Momos. This is a dumpling delicacy that has taken over the world. You can't leave Kathmandu without trying them and you are spoiled for choice with the places that are selling it. We recommend trying out one of these two places, either Momo House for their mixed vegetarian platter or Shafakat Halal restaurant for the best tandoori momos in town. One bite and you will be hooked. As the name suggests, Shafakat restaurant is one of the few halal restaurants in the Kathmandu area so it's worth checking out if you are on the hunt for some delicious, authentic Nepalese halal food. After eating a whole load of momos and you have room for more food, then we'd recommend taking a food tour around the local area. You can do what we did and opt for just walking around the streets and purchase anything that we like the look of. And there's loads of street food vendors selling all kinds of stuff. From traditional lassi, it's a yogurt based drink that's really really refreshing, spiced peas and pani puri. But one thing that you must try is dal bath. This translates to lentil and rice and it's the go-to dish of the region. This is something that you can find for breakfast, lunch or dinner and it will fill your belly right up. After all this food, you might want to do a little bit of walking around and so the best place to visit is Darbar Square. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that is home to some of the most impressive temples in the city. There is an entrance fee for foreigners depending on your nationality and expect to pay anything between 150 to 1000 rupees. So it's worth checking with the ticket office for the latest prices. As you enter the square, you'll find tour guides offering to take you around for a guided tour. To get a better understanding of the history surrounding the square and the various temples, I would recommend getting a guide. But just make sure you negotiate the length of the tour and the price beforehand with the tour guide. One of the things that took me by surprise was the coffee production here in Nepal. Kathmandu is a coffee lover's paradise and there's plenty of coffee shops around. You cannot leave without trying Himalayan Java coffee. This is a coffee chain that you'll find around the touristic cities of Nepal and after a long day of exploring, sit down, unwind with a nice smooth espresso. And if you're like me, get yourself a double. About a 15 to 20 minute journey outside of the Tamil area is the Budanath Stupa. This is another UNESCO heritage site and an important pilgrimage place for Buddhists. When we entered the site we were taken aback by the hundreds of people circling the stupa and despite the large number of people the area was very calm and relaxing. One of the things you cannot miss is eating at an authentic Sherpa restaurant. As you walk around you'll see these narrow entrances in the tiny back street so take your pick sit down in one of these small cozy restaurants. If there's one thing that you have to try here that is 
real dog. A warm, delicious, hearty soup made of potatoes that have been pounded so hard they turn into small fluffy balls of cloud. And when you take that first bite, you'll feel like you're going through a culinary journey through the Himalayas. As you hunt for more food in the area, you'll notice there are plenty of restaurants that are serving up Tibetan cuisine. From the warming tukpa to the crispy momos, you'll fall in love with the flavours and textures of this cuisine. If you are adventurous enough, this is something that you have to try at least once. Try out some yak butter tea. It does have an acquired and interesting taste, so I think I'll stick to milk and sugar in mind for now. If you have an afternoon spare, head over to the Monkey Temple, which is also known as the Swayambhanath Stupa. As the name suggests, this temple is home to hundreds of monkeys that are always up to mischief. So be careful, otherwise you may end up finding that they've taken your phone or your food. Make sure you climb all the way to the top to get amazing 360 views of Kathmandu and it is here where you can get a clip of the famous prayer wheels. So walk along, spin the wheels for fortune and have someone behind you to record it. Last but not least, we have the ancient city of Paktapur. This ancient city is around a 45 to 50 minute journey from Kathmandu and it will cost you around about 1,500 rupees to enter. The entrance ticket alone is an interesting souvenir. The paper is made from cotton using traditional techniques that are preserved to this day. This city is steeped in history around the three kingdoms before Nepal was unified and there's loads of tour guides around who are very knowledgeable. It makes a massive difference in just walking around versus understanding the significance behind each and every individual beautiful building in this area. As always, agree a price beforehand and if you want the contact details of the guide that we use, you can download our e-guide. Here we've listed all the contact details of the amazing guides we'd recommend, making planning your trip that much easier. And that's it for our top things to do here in Kathmandu. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you're planning a trip to Kathmandu, make sure you add all of these activities to your list. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting travel videos. Until then, follow your visions and we'll see you on the next one.